Welcome back guys to another Clash Royale video and today the most anticipated Clash Royale update ever is finally here and to celebrate I'm going to be doing a chest opening video and today I'm going to be opening up a legendary chest, a super magical chest, a magical chest as well as this tournament chest you can see right here finishing with 6 wins, 6,200 gold and 250 cards. Definitely pretty happy with that result for only 100 gem entry cost. Taking a look at the shop here. 100 gems only really buys you about 2,000 gold, so definitely getting some pretty insane value out of that 100 gem entry cost, giving me 6,200 gold as well as 250 cards. Now, we're going to start out by buying this legendary arena pack right here. Now, I'm going to talk about something very quickly here. If you guys don't really care about what I have to say, go ahead and skip ahead to a minute 45 seconds and skip right to the chest opening videos. But I want to talk about being a free to play player because ever since I started playing Clash Royale, I have been a free to play player. And the only reason I really want to buy this pack here is for the 100,000 gold. I don't really care too much about the legendary card just because my preferred uh, trophy pushing deck is actually a 100% free to play deck with no legendaries and no epics in it. As you can see, the deck is right here. And I do better with this deck than I do with many other decks that actually have legendary cards in them. I'm currently sitting at 3,663 trophies, doing pretty well with this deck. But like I said, the reason I'm buying that pack is for the 100,000 gold. I can't even afford to upgrade the cards in my battle deck anymore. And not only that, the hardest part about being a free-to-play player is being a free-to-play player that's also a YouTuber because a lot of my cards are just too low level to use effectively at 3,600 trophies. And I want to be able to provide you guys with a, a with a better variety of deck videos on my channel. So hopefully by buying that gold pack, I can provide you guys with more videos. But that's too much talking already. Let's go ahead and open up this arena pack. So here we are guys, getting that, getting the Sparky, yes! The one legendary card that I wanted most in this game right now, definitely the Sparky. Gonna be pretty happy trying that out in some different decks and providing you guys with some Sparky videos. Let's see what else we have here. So we got the 100,000 gold as you can see up there with the gems. Probably gonna use the gems to host a couple of tournaments for you guys. And let's go ahead and start opening up some of these chests here. Get them out of the way pretty quickly. Nothing too exciting with these. I'm gonna go through these pretty fast though. Crown chest of course. Mortar, Spear Goblins, Goblins, which, not too bad. Use this gold chest here. And unfortunately, they're not going to be releasing the Mega Minion until uh, another 12 hours from the update, which I thought was pretty weird. But I don't want to wait for that. Let's go ahead and open up this magical chest finally here. What do we get out of this magical? 700 gold, 14 minions, 24 skeletons, 5 hog riders, not too bad. Now, of course, you only really look forward to the, to the epics in these things. What do we have for the epics? Four Goblin Barrels, finally getting that up to tournament standard. Definitely pretty happy with that. Going to go ahead and use the Goblin Barrel deck in some challenge tournaments probably. Now let's finish off by opening up this Grand Challenge Tournament chest. Getting, to start out, 6,200 gold. We already knew that of course. 22 motors, yuck. Archers, not too bad, not too bad. Wizard as well. 36 minion horde, 61 minions. 9 Barbarian Hut. What do we have for the epics? 77 Fire Spirits. 12 Valkyries. Now, I wonder, is there a chance to get a Legendary out of these? Or only is it whatever it says with a guaranteed 2 epics? Let me see. Lightning Spell. Not a huge fan of it, but of course, it did get a minor buff with the stun added to the Lightning Effect there. But let's go ahead. We're going to go ahead and switch to my other account, which has the Super Magical Chest that I'm going to be opening up. So here we are, guys, on my second account, opening up this free Super Magical Chest that I found that a lot of you guys have been waiting quite a while for me to open up. So here we go. Obviously gonna get some gems to start. 4,000 gold, I mean. There we go. Getting the guards finally in this account. Some spear goblins. What else do we have? Cannon. That's definitely nice. I use that in pretty much all of my decks. Three musketeers. 38 of them. As you can see, it's still level 1. Haven't upgraded them on this account at all. Getting five witches. Pretty happy with that. The witch is a fun card to use. 77 mini P.E.K.K.A. And so it's looking like we're not gonna be getting a legendary card out of this chest. And we have 13 mirrors. Not too sure how to feel about that. Of course, the mirror did get a buff in the recent update and now uh, provides cards one level higher than the mirror level. So at tournament standards, it's going to be pretty strong in tournaments. But as you can see on this account here, I do also have another value pack for the Arena 8. Not going to buy it though. I want to keep this account free to play. But for some of you wondering some information about these arena packs, I've got some information from Supercell for you guys. So Tim posted on the forum today saying there's a 25% chance you'll see an arena pack from an arena below your current arena. So if you guys are in arena 9 and you logged in today and the game is offering you a, an arena pack from arena 8 or arena 7, that's why. But they say this is for variety if you aren't interested in your current arena pack. Now arena packs show up in your shop 
on the first and second day when you unlock a new arena and then once a week thereafter they're always a one-time purchase so if you've purchased the arena 9 pack for example you won't see it again but if you don't purchase it for example as you can see it's got 10 hours left you don't have to worry about losing it forever it will appear once a week thereafter until you finally do buy it or you can just ignore it if you don't want to buy it they also say at the bottom here this means that most players will see another arena pack tomorrow which might be the same one as today if it wasn't purchased or it might be from the arena below. If you're in a higher arena, you'll be offered all of the arena packs over time. So definitely some cool information there in case you guys were wondering how that worked. Now I wanna finish off this video by going back to my main account and hosting a tournament for you guys. So let's go ahead and hop over there. As you can see, I already have all the information filled out. There is no password, but as it is right now, you can't actually search up public tournaments anymore. So you have to type in the name specifically in order to find this tournament. So you don't need access to the password anymore. So there you guys go, good luck in the tournament. And I might even see some of you guys in the battlefield if I have some time to play. But that's going to be the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys are excited about this new update as I am, make sure to leave a like on this video. And if you want to see some more Clash Royale strategy videos, make sure to hit that subscribe button. But once again, thank you so much for watching. We will see you in the next video.